hi guys welcome back to my channel this is lady fk kitchen and you are highly welcome in today's video we are going to be making fish stew so i'm going to be using these three fish for my stew so this is panla egg i'm using this fish for my omeo bear guys if you're in lagos you know exactly what i'm talking about this is omeo bear stew it's not the regular stew that we make so this stew is different you in fact you make it different way there are different ways that so many people make it so i'm going to be showing you my way of making this omeo bear stew so this omeo bear if you watch my last video you will see my ewedu soup that i post so this omeo bear is what we are going to be using to eat that ewedu guys so it's very delicious when i want to make my omeo bear normally i love using fish for my omeo bear stew so that's still you can use it even without that ewedu you can just use the soup to eat gari fufu anything that you want to use it and eat you will just use it so over here i'm just trying to clean up the fish and remove those excess bone that is on it i just want to clean it proper to make my stew neat so after washing it i will show you other ingredients that we are going to be using for our stew so let's clean up our fish So I'm through washing my fish, guys. These are fish. I season this fish with some salt, just salt that I use to season the fish. So this is my tomatoes, fresh tomato, pepper, sweet long pepper, and onions that's in, that's in that bowl. So this is my tomato puree. I'm going to be using half of this tomato puree. I'm not going to be using all of them. I'm using half of it. So this is my stock cube. I'm using chicken cube. This is my palm oil, guys. If you like, you can use ground oil, but the main oil that is good for this soup is palm oil. This is my ginger and garlic. This is my seasoning. I'm going to be using this seasoning. I might not use it, but I don't like too much of spice. Too much of seasoning in my omeo bear so this is my salt i just want this stew to be plain guys plain so i'm just trying to blend my tomato this is my long sweet pepper i'm adding my scott bonnet pepper and onions we need a lot of onions in this stew So I'm just going to be blending it. I'm not adding water to it. So this is our finished product, guys. So let's blend the other one. This video is quick video. We don't want to waste too much time on this video. This is my ginger and garlic, guys. So I'm just going to be blending everything together. So we are through blending our tomatoes. It's time for the cooking part. So what I'm going to do now is just pour our palm oil inside our pot. So this is much um, that I'm using. You can use more, you can use less. Depends how you want your soup. So I don't want to over bleach this oil. I just want to let it hot a little. I don't want to bleach the oil at all. So I've add my tomatoes, my blended tomatoes and pepper inside. So I'll just give it a stir. So I'll just cover this stew and allow this stew to cook proper. Allow it to cook before adding our fish. So before then, I will just add my tomato puree to it. So I'm using half of this tomato. If I didn't even use more than uh, up to half, so I'll just set the other one aside. I'll use it for later. 
So I'll just stir it together, stir it proper. So I'll just cover this stew now and allow it to cook for 20 good minutes. So this, after 20 minutes, our stew has cooked very well. So I'll just stir it. So I'll start by adding my fish to it. Before you start adding your fish, make, make sure that your stew is already cooked, your stew is ready so that your stew will not be that fresh when you are eating it. Allow your tomatoes to cook very well before adding your fish to it. So I'm adding my stock yolk. I'm adding two stock yolk. So at this moment, I'm adding my onions. This onion that I'm give, adding it to just give it a fresh taste. To make my stew to be a fat, the flavor, it will add its own flavor. I'll just add in a little bit of salt. I've already used salt to season this, my fish. So I'm just adding a little salt. I'm adding more water. I want the fish to cook. So I'll just stir it gently. This moment, I don't need to stir it too much. Just stir it gently. Gently. Because of the fish, you don't want the fish to break. So you just stir it gently. So I'll just cover this for extra 10 minutes. Wow, guys, our stew is ready. It's so easy. You don't need extra seasoning ceremony on this stew. Very easy. This stew, I'm going to be serving this stew with my Iwezu, guys, and my Semolina. So I'm going to be serving this with my Ewezu for dinner this evening and um, my soft semolina guys you know I love my semolina very soft and my Ewezu soon so guys if you like this video you find this video very helpful please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel guys give me a thumbs up and leave your comment in the comment section let me know how you think or what you think about this video so for now stay blessed love one another and God bless you. Bye-bye.